I just wanted to share some research I've been doing. Um, I'm, I'm very interested in nootropics and things that affect the brain and uh, cognitive performance. So uh, it's been a major um, thing in my life. You know, I've been, uh, I was diagnosed with ADD and I took Adderall as a, as a child, uh, as a uh, teenager. And so kind of been looking for natural supplements and natural ways to stimulate my brain in a more sustainable way. So my research has led me recently to psilocybin and lion's mane and Amanita muscaria. So I just wanted to share some of this uh, research I've been looking into. So we'll start with psilocybin. Psilocybin was used in a study in 2021 with um, rats and pigs, and they were given psilocybin, and the conclusions were that these rats and pigs, uh, after they were given psilocybin, had an upregulate uh, up regulation of neuroplastic genes, and uh, particularly in their prefrontal cortex. And neuroplasticity uh, is alters behaviors, flexibilities to allow patients to, to develop a better coping skill when faced with a stressful environment. That's directly from the study. So basically, it helps us change our neural network and neural pathways. So that's pretty exciting. Okay, next we're going to talk about lion's mane. So many of you know lion's mane is good for your brain. If you've taken it, you can notice the effects pretty quickly. Um, within a day or so, uh, you'll, you'll start noticing that you have increased uh, cognition, um, better memory recall, uh, just better mental clarity and energy. And so what does lion's mane do? Well, lion's mane has hericinones and arenacinines, and these are compounds that uh, actually can increase the nerve growth factor. So they are neurogenerative. So they, they actually can help you regrow neurons and brain cells and nerves. Um, so, but the thing is that lion's mane by itself doesn't protect your neurons. So uh, whenever these new uh, neurons are grown and then they're exposed to oxidative stress, they actually will um, die. They'll, they'll, they won't survive. So, um, so we have psilocybin is a neuro, it increases neuroplasticity and we have uh, lion's mane, which increases um, neurogenesis. So we're missing one thing and that is protection. So that brings me to Amanita muscaria. So Amanita muscaria contains muscimol. Muscimol is a GABA agonist. And the way that muscimol affects our brain is <clears throat> it is, uh, has been shown to um, prevent cell death of the, I'm going to try to say this right, oligodendrogal cells. Uh, those are cells that, that actually protect the myelin sheath um, that uh, connect neurons together. So uh, muscimol has been shown in Parkinson's affected rats in a study, and I'll, I'll share all these studies too. This was uh, October 2019. Um, uh, so these, these rats had Parkinson's and the scientists gave them muscimol and it actually increased their their neuroprotection. So basically the that myelin sheath is the thing that connects or that protects the connection between neurons. So uh, all three of these together could be could be. I'm not suggesting anything because I'm not a doctor and um, you know, psilocybin is illegal in most places and Amanita muscaria is not for human consumption. But based off of this studies and this research, I would assume that these three together with uh, taken correctly in microdoses could 
actually be a holy trinity of neuro uh, boosting. So you again, you just have neuroplasticity with psilocybin, also neurogenesis with psilocybin, um, and neurogenesis with uh, lion's mane, and neuroprotection with Amanita muscaria. Uh, also, I just wanted to say too, that chocolate itself, uh, really good raw cacao, is also neuroprotective. So those are just some, some things to uh, think about and chew on. And if you have any studies or thoughts, please drop a comment below. I'm really, really interested in this field of study. And I'm always looking to learn more. All right. Thanks. Bye.